let's hope this doesn't crash again. Woo! You go, you go crash? You go crash? You go crash? No, you are not go crash. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we're back in business, baby. Oh, I'm in jail. You like that poopy handprint I made on that wall? That's, that's where I left it. Hello? Oh, there's blood over there, too. Am I supposed to escape? Oh, no, that button was the guy letting me go. There's a phone in there. Hello? Is this my interrogation room? So I'm Edward. Okay. Good. So maybe you would tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? Can you hear Am me? I it's better now, bird isn't mask? it? So can we continue? Great. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? I did with that asshole's child. I try to know it tomorrow. I'm going to shit. I don't know if you're in the door is a safe place. Don't tell me anything. I've been nuts for a while. What? I hid in the key for the front switch in a safe place. Where is that safe place, mister? Drive him nuts for a while. <laughs> I take my career very seriously. If you guys are just gonna hide shit on me, that's unprofessional. I am very disappointed in all of you. Ooh. That looks like a weird man. I can see his two eyes, and he's got a nose, and he has a mouth, and he's got an awesome goatee. And he's like, oh no. The murder of Susan Dolan, Dolan witness Stephen Dolan. Was right there, Stephen Wilson. This is right. You're shocked. Something nine. I don't know what that next one is, though. Five? Don't fucking know. I don't know Morse code. Okay, we have the. We have the. 
Okay, so it is three. Three. Oh, ho, ho, three, two, seven. I just guessed it. Sweet. Sorry, that took me longer than I was supposed to. But I don't know more Morse code very well. And, like, there's kind of, like, a glitch in the way it sounds. It didn't match up. the key but what is the key for yes 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 phone is this way this is the worst police station I've ever seen very dirty police stations are usually like listen this. Bowman give me some creeps doctor I won't manage alone Whatever you say, crazy man. All right. Where to next? Oh, there's a thing. Okay, if you want to read that, pause it. Ah, yes, this is the day that I I that I get decided on which which house that I should be sorted into. Hereby open the trial against Gryffindor, the not Slytherin. About Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Not Slytherin. The prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started. I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. How dare she sleep with her husband? That's all I gotta say. Okay, so I don't know. Am I Dowell or am I Edward? I opened the trial against Stephen Dowell about malpractice against Edward. Who caused Susan and Theodore Dowell's death. Did the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, Your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, mm -hmm. also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide, and did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant? Not with him, but with Edward? Oh! <gasps> pregnant with Edward's kid? And am I Edward? Am I the one that slept with them the whole time? Perhaps? There's another phone ringing. Leave me alone, phone! So am I like a Gryffindor now, or, or what? I don't know. 
Zachary dad on your own time. Oh, you were not here before. Hello, phone. Eric's body bag company, you whack em, we sack em. How can I help you? Oh, is this my insane room? Is it padded? Clunk, clunk. Steven, can I see you in my office? Uh, uh hold on. I'm looking at all my, my insane things. Got crazy eyes. Is this your office? Am I in trouble? Gee, sir, don't tell my parents I'm here. I'm a straight-A student. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. He received 30 stab wounds. Why 30? Because 30 is a good number. Um, two days after, uh, the child is right there in sleep. Father of the family, so it, it was Dowell. How are you feeling today? But am I Dowell? It's okay. I think it's time to show you something. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Why? I think he wants to do butt stuff to me. Butt stuff. Our relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a point of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head, so perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive, and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming, or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. And a knife Similar situations my back. repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while, to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie, his second personality, to feel happy just for a while, to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we often met in the garden. Today, I again talked with Eddie. He is in very bad condition. Steven's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. My God. Can this video get any worse? Hey, how's it going, bros? My name is. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I'm not a guy that likes to do construction and stuff, but I think that this is all wrong. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Ducky. I want to walk down that awesome hallway though. I don't want to walk down that hallway. I want to walk down that one. It's spirally and ice. Ah, my eyes. My child is not in here. Damn you, Teddy Bear! Oh. oh, back to the garden. I thought everything was nice. I thought this game was wrapping up, but no. 
Maybe he's got damn memories. We're not looking. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, wasn't me. Can't prove it. Can't prove it. No way, no how. I should probably shouldn't be walking around in this darkness. I like the music. This game has really good music. Hell? Droids. mean that I like killed myself? I like jumped off a bridge or something or hmm. That was such a good that was a good one. I mean it was a walking simulator but it was good. But talking hurts. I have to rest my face. Thank everybody so much for watching. If you watch the entire thing, make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't, it's a total dick move. I work hard on these videos. So thank everybody so much for watching, and bye.